I'm starting my YouTube vlog. Yeah. Okay, so, perfect. Yes. What? Oh, wow. I got Good luck, right. Hi, besties. Welcome back to my vlog. I am headed to Whole Foods right now. I feel like every single vlog I've been starting in the car lately, but I'm headed to Whole Foods to go get some... Whoa, I'm still in reverse. To go get some zucchini and tomatoes. Um blueberries just a few things so and then celia is about to come over i'm gonna make us zucchini tacos tonight zucchini black bean tacos they're so good so see you guys in a little bit i'm gonna be vlogging for tiktok in whole foods so i'll probably see you guys when i get home luna no 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 scratching good girl okay i just got back from whole foods i'll show you guys a little haul of everything i got first of all already put them away but I got some limes. I got some taco seasoning because I'm going to put this in sour cream. Celia claims she doesn't like sour cream but then she loves it with taco seasoning so that's the tacos. Two zucchinis, some spicy guacamole so I'm just lazy and don't want to make myself. These are so good. I got them at the airport one time. They're milk chocolate and milky caramel cookie squares. So good if you haven't tried them black beans i am like 99 point i'm like 100 percent sure i have black beans but i was like what if i don't because it's a key ingredient to the tacos tonight tomatoes zucchini noodles i ordered a zucchini spiralizer again because they used to always make zucchini noodles and then i didn't bring mine with me so until that gets here these blueberries because i have been on a blueberry crazy kick lately like i crave them so bad i bought a container of these yesterday and ate the whole thing today um, I just, I can't stop eating so crazy. Also craving some rippled potato chips because I also, I got this caramelized onion dip from Trader Joe's that I want to try. And then some crispy lettuce. I'm going to put this all away and start cooking. And I'm starting on the caramelizing the shallot. Or zucchini tacos. Just caramelized shallot and then I added the zucchini in. And then I added chili powder, cayenne pepper, cumin and I added salt in the beginning. I added the beans and then I'm making the little mini tacos now so I'm just adding cheese and then yeah they're gonna be delish when they're done. Finished product these look so fire I'm nervous for Celia to try because <laughs> she just stresses me out. It's be Celia just left it's 7 p.m I have chocolate over my sweatshirt we just had ice cream the tacos were so good I've been going to bed like at 8 p.m. lately and it feels so good. First Aid Beauty sent me this retinol eye cream. I don't know why I'm scared of retinol, but I'm gonna try it because it's supposed to be like gentle for like sensitive skin. So I'm gonna try it. Oh, it says you can use it in the a.m. and the p.m. I thought you could only use retinol at night. Okay, yeah, this says just in the evening, apply a pea-sized amount to clean, dry skin and follow with a moisturizer. Limit initial usage to three times a week. I'm scared. I've never tried that all before, but aren't you sick of me? You're supposed to use it, right? Okay. Pea-sized. I feel like that's pea-sized. Flossing and brushing my teeth is by far my least favorite part of the evening. I don't know why, but I just find it exhausting. <laughs> Good morning, Luna. Good morning, honey. Hi. Say good morning. Say good morning. My name's Luna and I'm just a cute girl. I'm just a cute Girl, good morning. I literally find a way to incorporate caramelized shallots into everything. I've been up since like 6 a.m. I went to bed at 8. 
and then woke up at three as I do every morning. But I stayed in bed finishing that. Um, I had one episode left of the American Nightmare. So then I watched it last night and then, yeah, I watched, did I tell you guys this last night? Yeah. Anyway, I just made my favorite egg sandwich. I cannot stop caramelizing shallots for every meal. So for this, I caramelized shallots. Then I poured egg over it, pepper jack cheese, and then like kind of folded it into like a little mini omelet and then put avocado and like a light spread of butter on the bread. And this is sourdough bread. Let's take our first bite together. This has been my favorite thing. Mm. Oh my God. I don't know if you feel this way at all. Oh my gosh, I'm like completely out of this. I need to go get more. Um, but I truly got like, there was none in there. I do not feel like January was a real month. I was talking about this with Celia yesterday. And like, I just feel like January was such like a drama filled. Sorry, there's a really loud car outside. I feel like it was like such a drama filled, dramatic, like drastic, reckless, like unhealthy month. And I was not like, I feel like I'm finally getting into my routine like for real now i've been like working out every day like sleeping normally like i just i finally feel like i'm getting into a routine which feels so good but i don't know january it felt like it was like the longest month ever and i just do not feel <laughs> like it counts anyway i am getting ready speaking of being healthy to go do runyon i used to be so good about like hiking like every single day and then i got really bad about it for like months and just formed really unhealthy habits of like waking up sitting in my bed for hours every morning and then like wondering why i was not feeling well so i've been doing it consecutively every day recently and it feels really good so i'm gonna go do that right now and I'm definitely like I let myself get out of shape it's like so sad because I used to be able to do it like without even like getting out of breath I mean that's dramatic but like it didn't bother me and now I'm like I really feel it Cleo anyway I'm gonna go make my bed I have to do the dishes from breakfast make my bed vacuum and then we're gonna go head for our hike I almost just laid back down in bed because I'm just not in the mood to do this right now at all, but I know I will feel better. The past few days I have been doing it and it feels so good. So I have like a podcast ready to go and it will be, it will be great. Also later today, Celie and I are going to go look at a house. I'll tell you about that after. Um, the height because I need to turn out of my garage but I don't even know I have no words <laughs> I also have no words like what happened you want a picture of yourself with the oh no I'm okay I'm just getting a video thank you okay it is a while later Sorry, I haven't seen you guys in ages, but let me just say, when you are not in the mood, if you're watching this and you're like, ugh, I don't like want to get up and like get out of bed and go outside, hiking made me feel so much better. Like it seriously just feels so good to move. It's so hard to get yourself to like actually go, but if you can get yourself to like just go for even like a little quick walk, it feels so good. I. I'm getting ready right now. It's a while later. I am getting ready right now to go tour. Okay, this is going to tell you guys earlier. So, you know how I told you I'm like, oh, I kind of told you guys this before, I think in a few vlogs ago. But, you know how I told you, oh my gosh, my camera's going to die. Let me quickly talk. I told you guys how I'm moving. And Celie and I have been like trying to find a place where like it has like a studio above the garage or something. So that we can live together but not 
be completely under the same roof just because I don't think that would be like she is my sister we've been best friends since fourth grade but I just do not think we know ourselves and it would not be good to um live under the same roof the fact that my camera's about to die is stressing me out anyway we're gonna go look at a place right now um which I'm really excited it looks so cute from the photos so we will see but I have a good feeling about it it just looks adorable so um and it's like a full like it's perfect celia would have the studio above the garage and then i would have the house that's like on the same property like obviously she can come hang out in the house whenever um so i'm really excited and the house looks so cute her studio looks so cute like everything looks really really cute so we're both really excited so i hope it works but we will see i'm just putting on a tiny bit of makeup concealer was like are you wearing makeup and i was like i wasn't planning on it but now i'm like should i look presentable i feel like it doesn't really matter but i am gonna vlog it so i need to clean my makeup brushes they're so disgusting okay you guys i am whoa because we're moving like crazy i am why are you moving so much hold on let me I'm going to pick Celia up right now to go tour this place. I'm backing up really slow so that you guys don't move. Oh my gosh, I hate this garage. Like I cannot wait to not have to park in this garage anymore, but I'm gonna go pick her up right now. This place looks so cute. Um, I guess we'll just have to see. I had this really weird dream about it because I took a nap earlier that it was like an abandoned amusement park and super creepy, but <laughs> that was just a dream. It looks really cute, so we will see. But I'm gonna go get Celia. I brought us each a Dr. P. If you haven't had, this is the Dr. Pepper cream soda. Oh my God, it is so good. I love it so much, so. I will see you guys soon. Just picked Celia up. I am feeling hopeful. How are I'm feeling you feeling? Very hopeful. This is the first one we're looking at, but it looks pretty good. So yeah, I mean, it looks stunning. But, but we can never trust photos because I had a dream it was an abandoned <laughs> That's exactly what I said. No, but yeah. I'm feeling very positive, and we're taking a weirdest hallway here. Up. Oh, I know which favorite. Yeah, but everything just looks like beautiful right now. Oh, life hack! Oh my god! Oh, are you still down to go to Panera? Because I brought my gift card. Oh, am I ever? Wow. I forgot about that. Yeah. Okay, things are really looking <laughs> up. Yeah. Keep posted. No, that's, that's perfect. Yeah. Oh, Callie, I found the washer dryer. It's in the kitchen. I think this is more the studio. I feel like this room is bigger than the other one. Really? Kind of. And this has little doors to go out though, so maybe I will want the other one. This is the piece I think this is supposed to be the master based on the bathroom, yeah, but. This is the master, too. I feel like it's smaller, but I mean, this maybe. is maybe. This is so cute. And then this is the bathroom, which I'd have a bathtub again, which is, I mean, that is just great. So, also, I don't think that this one. Oh, ours isn't the one with the lights, but we should copy them if we get this. Yes. Okay, so after much discussion, <laughs> sorry. After much discussion, the place was so cute, and I posted like a better vlog of it on TikTok. tiktok but the thing is like first of all we were like for a second maybe we can try a kitchen because like celia's place there was no room to put a kitchen but we already started arguing about the kitchen like a minute in, <laughs> like went on this drive and to panera we both have kitchens right now and 
we both have like storage in our kitchens obviously and yeah. that kitchen had, had like washer dryers most, in it yeah so well that's great that it had a washer dryer and everything it had like zero storage zero storage. so trying to combine two into one in the first place and like just a lot it just seemed yeah and then i i mean i'm selfish in my kitchen you're selfish in your kitchen makes sense so like yeah. we just like it just can't work yeah oh my camera's gonna die quickly then um I, like, felt very unsettled in there. It was so cute, but I had a very eerie, weird feeling the whole time. Like, when we left... I think he felt it, too. I'm not I think he felt it, too. <laughs> he was trying to, like, leave us I'm not joking. That, yeah. I think he felt it, too. It felt very dark in there. Like, it had a yeah. really dark, creepy energy. I feel like everyone felt it. Yeah. Like, seriously, there was something off about that place. I don't know what, but I want to ask him when we break the news to Curtis that yeah. we're not going with that place. I'd like to ask Curtis if he felt that way. It was just... It had a really dark energy... Mm -hmm. And the more and more I think about it, the more I like I felt so creeped out that I would have been terrified. I know to be there. Actually, I would be terrified. And no, my couch. I actually fit. felt safer in my area than in the house. Me too. Mm -hmm. I felt safer in your area too. The house felt really like something happened in that house. I'm like yeah. something creepy as hell. Um, sure. And so like the second I said that, then you said like it's just it had a very creepy feeling, and it shouldn't have. No, this battery is dead too. I brought a battery down to my car because I literally left my camera in the car last night because I was scared to bring it in because I was scared of like the energy on my camera. But I'll just tell you really quick, hopefully before it dies, that place was so haunted and I, my podcast should be going up the same day this is going up tomorrow. So if you're watching this, go listen to my podcast about it where I, I just like go into full detail, but I had a really creepy dream about the place. And the dream, like, was so identical to the place, and it just had, like, such a dark energy. Like, my mom called me after, and she was like, I was going to call you and be like, that place had a really dark energy. I would not move in there. The real estate agent, <laughs> like, felt, like, ev everyone felt uncomfortable in there. And, yeah, I just, it was so cute. Like, I mean, I love a Spanish style, but... Not to be just obnoxious, but seriously. Oh my gosh, the spray is almost out. Seriously, going outside for a walk, doing some sort of exercise makes you feel so much better. Okay, today, this morning, like it was raining. And I, like before I moved to LA, honestly loved a rainy day, but I feel like uh, so many rainy days in a row make me feel like kind of depressed. Anyway, I woke up. I was really comfy this morning. I recorded my podcast first thing when I woke up. And um, then, like, I was like, well, it's raining. So I'm not going to do anything today. And then I was like, I... Is my camera blurry? I think I need to clean the lens. But I was like, why don't I just go walk? Because it was, like, only lightly raining. So I went for a hike. And I feel so much better. Like, it seriously just helps so much with anxiety and like anxiousness yeah well it's the same thing but <laughs> i feel so much better um but yeah i now i have to record another podcast for next week i think because i'm going my dad is going to visit my family in tahoe on saturday and i'm meeting him there i don't know how long i'm going to be there right now i have my flight booked for next saturday but i don't want to be gone that long because of the girls and like i'm trying to find a place to move and whatever but yeah we will see i think i'm gonna make some lunch right now um i have some zucchini noodles that i think i'm gonna make i just took a shower and feels so just like good and comfy and cozy and caramelizing more shallots right now i truly i cannot be stopped i need to know is it like <laughs> okay to have shallots in every single meal they make everything so much better i just love shallots so much and a sweet caramelized shallot and literally eggs pasta tacos burritos like anything it just makes toast it makes everything so much better making zucchini noodles this smells so good so i caramelized shallot then i added garlic and then I added the zucchini noodles and then salt and cayenne pepper. And I'm going to let the saute for a little while. And then I will add the sauce. This looks so good. Just watched a little show while I ate my lunch. Now I'm eating some Valentine's Day M&M's in bed. I hate when the weather's like this. I love a rainy day. But when 
it when it goes from rainy to sunny which is right now like i hate that weather so much my least favorite weather Ugh. anyway i am gonna edit this vlog now because it's gonna get dark in like an hour and a half and i'm like scared to see the footage from this house tour last night i'm like scared something's gonna show up or something so i'm gonna edit this whole little vloggy right now and i will see you on monday i love you besties